Hey guys, I've talked about VPN services on this channel before, and today I am going to be taking a bit of a look at AirVPN. I've been trialing it for the past six days, and I want to let you guys know how I've been getting along with it. This is going to be a pretty glowing review, though. I am very, very impressed with AirVPN's uh, services, and it's, uh, yeah, expect a pretty glowing review here on in. So, uh, let's start with the top, uh, and that is the prices. And of course, you can see here all of their, their other stuff, uh, you know, uh, no, tra no, limit tra uh, no traffic limit, no time limit, um, unlimited free service. A lot of this is what you would expect from a paid VPN service, you know, hide your, VP uh, hide your IP, obviously, no monitoring or logging and all this kind of stuff. Uh, you pay uh, 54 euros or $58.33 uh, $58 or 0 0.053441 Bitcoin for the year. Of course, you can get uh, increments of three days at a time. And I actually originally uh, was going to only have uh, three days to trial out AirVPN. But honest to God, nothing went wrong whatsoever. There was you know, there's nothing bad I could say about it. So I actually decided to extend the trial for another three days just to, to make sure that this was a consistent experience and that it, they weren't just having like a good three days. So I took two back-to-back -back versions of the back-to-back uh, uh, -back, um, three-day uh, trial packages. Um, I like here that it works on almost any device and they've got Windows, then Linux for second, then Mac OS and then the mobile platforms. Now it is uh, worth pointing out that the Android and I also assume the iOS, um, you know, if you want to get it working on iOS and Android, you use the um, VPN applications or, that come with Android and iOS or failing that, uh, they do point you to one that you can download through the Google Play Store and I assume an iOS, there's an iOS equivalent as well. But they have brought out a cross-platform Air VPN client called Eddy, which, although is a little bit ropey, uh, and I can actually show it to you here, uh, it gives you like all the information at like a steady glance, uh, at a brief glance, everything you need to know. And you can log in, you can disconnect, you can reconnect, you can do all this stuff through a native cross-platform, because I'm running this, of course, on, on Manjaro uh, under the GNOME desktop. They just gave out a binary file, and uh, you know you double-click it, opens up, log in and go. It's available, I believe, also in a .deb file. Uh, it's available through the AUR, but since I'm only trying it out, I'm just using their binary, I'm not pulling it down from the AUR. Their binary works fine, but as you can see, it, it looks a little bit... Um, you know, it, it looks a little bit ropey, but to be fair, at the beginning of the day, you log on. At the end of the day, you log off. That's all you need it for. Um, i got to say, brilliant. You know, like, I have not had a drop connection. I have not had uh, any slowdown. Um, the connection has been quick and easy and convenient. i got to say, thoroughly impressed. Thoroughly impressed that they have a cross-platform client that just works as it should be and released under the GPL3 license. Like that, that is brilliant. That is really, really, really good. Okay, so I'm not going to make this review any longer than it needs to be. I can't recommend it highly enough. The Eddy application protects against things like link, uh, leaks and uh, drop connections and all that kind of stuff. It has not let me down a single time in the six days that I've been trialing it. Um, Look on the front page of the website. They offer a lot of information in terms of the specifics um, that they offer as well. Now, I'm not going to go through the specifics as to why you might need or want a VPN uh, because different people in different countries require it for you know entirely different reasons. So it's not for me to say whether or not you, you, you need or want or should use a VPN. So yeah, in terms of price, you've got 450 euros a month um, for a year here. Uh, CyberGhost is 374 a month if you get it billed for a year as well, which is really, you know, for give and take the exchange rates, that's in the same ballpark in terms of price. I actually picked up CyberGhost VPN on a really good Black Friday offer, so I am certainly going to be like subscribing to their newsletter and seeing if I can get Air VPN at a at a special rate in the near future. Because you know I'm already VPN'd up now, so I'm, it wouldn't be worth me having two uh, different uh, services now, considering that CyberGhost VPN is still perfectly fine. But I am certainly going to be keeping an eye out for AirVPN because I could not be singing their prizes, praises more highly enough. 
So anyway, that's about it from me today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any recommendations or thoughts down in the comment section below. And until next time, I've been Chris Ware, and you've been awesome. Take care now.